Hey, what's good, people? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of No Silicon Podcast with your boy Feeling Hendrix. If I'm not the first live, like virtual one, isn't it? Say what? This is your first virtual one. This, yeah, the first virtual podcast episode. You feel me? So keeping it raw and keeping it real. And today we're joined by a special guest. You feel me? Um, a brother from another mother, a brother like no other. <laughs> and you've been Prince. Well, he's a king now. A father of many, the yeah. Path to some, legendary, <laughs> godfather, lover man, advisor, psychologist, inspirer, right. motivator, hero, man like Andrew Grosset. How are you living, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Living this part, this um, quarantine life as best as possible. I hear that. Um, I hear that. I hear that. Andrew, um, do you mind introducing yourself to the people for those that don't know you already? You know, who is Andrew Grosset with two S's and two T's? Who are you? Two S's and two T's. Very important. It's very important. Often often um, misconstrued, should we say. Okay. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a lover of people and people's connections and helping people to realize those connections and maintain the respect throughout it. Um, okay. Podcaster, author, former personal trainer, although still personal trainer, sort of, to, to some. For, as you said, not father to many, father to four. <laughs> father to four. We'll put, we'll put a specific many. number on it. We're not just running around town spraying up the whole place. But so father to four, um, husband to be to one. It's okay. probably the easiest way of putting it. Okay, okay, great intro. Thanks for joining me today, Andrew. Um, no. um, you said also podcaster. What is the name of your podcast? Well, that's that's it's changed names over various different different realms, and the the new one that's about to come back is is called Don't Wake the Baby, which is going to be a a shared podcast between me and the missus. And it's going to be all about how families deal with family life, or so I say how two, the two adults deal with family life. Okay. And the, the name Don't Wake the Baby literally comes from the fact that we're going to film it when the baby goes to sleep. So you might hear him wake up, you might hear him stir, you might hear one of us duck out from the from from from, from the microphone to go and deal with him or what have you. You might hear him in the background. But the whole principle is, like, you can't wait. Because you've got kids, you can't wait. You've got to right. step forward and do what you need to do in, yeah. in the spaces in between. you got to speak. you got to speak inside. He's going to be like a ninja, but you got to get your stuff out as well. I hear Absolutely. That. Absolutely. That's a dope concept. I think anything with you and the missus would be, would be dope because, um, yeah, Karen's very insightful lady as well. All right, cool. Oh, I didn't get to pin the topic, right? But the topic today, guys, is... Um, how this isolation period, this quarantine, is affecting relationships. Look, I feel like I need a prop because you've always got a prop on us. You, 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 so you need a prop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you've always got whether it's the baseball, the baseball bat, or like the the basketball now. So I have, I have, I have, I have my aikido sword now. So I'll, I'll sit with this one here. You, 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 you brought a sword. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's a wooden one. Okay, guys, guys, everyone watching, just let you know we're not trying to promote violence. You know nah, I mean? nah, 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 nah. It's just, it's just my, my, yeah. These, anyway. these, these are just props. You feel me? Yeah. And, and, exactly in Andrew's case, it shows you how sharp he is. In my case, it shows you how much of a bullet I am. This is what that is. <laughs> well, well put, well put. Thank you, thank you. Ah, right, cool. So, um, how quarantine and isolation is affecting relationships the reason i brought andrew on is because if you don't know already he's i call him a relationship guru he doesn't want to call himself that but he is when it comes to affairs of the heart matters of the heart like andrew's on point he knows a lot about relationships in various you know various forms and he's had a lot of experience personally and he's had a lot of experience of people coming to him asking him questions and in their scenarios and him you know regurgitating advice that always seems to be on point even for me you feel me so relationships and quarantine has that ever happened before? Has has anyone, like, in the history that I've been in this life, right, I've never had a situation, or heard of a situation, whereby people are forced to stay home with their partners by law. Is this unprecedented or is this? It's not unprecedented at all, but it's, un it's, it's unknown to people that are of an age that don't remember the Blitz, because that was probably about the last time that everyone was forced mm. 
to stay in their house and not physically move. Mm. You know, not not move. And and the bit that I mean, I've had quite a few people that have called me or messaged me about this very subject in the sense of going right, well, they're thrown into a situation that actually ironically is is alien to them because right. normally they go to work and they spend the vast majority of their time away from their other half. Yeah. Now yeah. they're in the house with them and you people are having to connect. There's only so much dis that, that distraction on my mm -hmm. phone can represent. Yeah. So this is the thing, right? So I feel like in our modern day, right, in our digital age, right, um, like you mentioned the mobile phone, I feel like we're in, we're in a space right now whereby people want to escape from home for the most part, right? You might, let's say you're married or you, you're living with your partner or you're in a long-term relationship and it's serious. For the most part, I feel like when people leave, it's escapism. A lot of people don't feel like, oh, I'm leaving home and, and I, I wish I didn't have to leave. I could stay with my girl forever. I could stay with my guy forever. A lot of people, when they leave home, it's like, oh, I finally get a breather. But now they're all stuck in. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes and no. I don't think that a lot of people, well, I'd, I'd like to think that most people don't think that, you know what, running up, I'm, I'm necessarily running away from home or finding a way out of it. I think that the way that our society is built, it's inevitable because our financial our financial needs are that high that we have to go out to work. And a lot of our work is demanding. And, and with this beautiful thing that we call the internet, that work becomes 24 seven, it's constantly on the go. Like so many people have got jobs that involve or involving with social media now right. that they have to be online all the time. Right. You know? So now what we're forced into a situation which is, which is ironic really is the fact that you're forced to spend time at home and work shut down yeah. so a lot of people where the distraction was i'm social media posting for work they're not doing that at the moment anymore you know they're not running around town doing bits and pieces anymore they're at home yeah with their other half looking them square in the eye and going yeah. you know yeah and this this is the thing the fact that you have to be at home and look at your partner square in the eye Okay, I mentioned I felt like it's escapism when people leave home and when they go online. Because in my personal experience and other people's experiences nowadays, it's like, I feel like when you're in close proximity with someone for too long, <clears throat> you get frustrated. When you see your partner every day, you feel me? As much as you might love them, it, it forces you to face things that you don't necessarily want to face all the time. You don't get that breathing space, that breathing room to take a break from them and come back. It's like, shit, shit. Why? Gah. But shouldn't that tell you something that you've got things that you need to talk about? You know, I used, I, I used to, when I used to work in um I used to work in the gym in Lucian, the one on uh, sort of high street gym, and I used to I used to there's a guy that was an ex marine that used to come there, and he therefore then he was working repossession for Bright House, mm -hmm. and he goes the amount of times that he would go to re repossess someone's TV and they say to him, look, I've done you a favour, you and your missus are going to talk tonight. <laughs> that's where we're. That's where we're forced with right now. Is that people are going to have to force to uh, going to have to engage with their other half. Right. We don't like the vast majority of problems that I ha that I encounter with people inside of relationships is that they're not in their relationship. They're on their relationship. They're on the surface. Right. So we right. Have superficial conversations. We go on holidays to places, but we don't really connect. So when they come home and they're in their home environment. It's all about work. It's us setting ourselves up so we go out to work and earn that money, come back, we sleep. You know, you don't really get a maximum amount of time mm. to interact. This this whole quarantine situ I, situation, ironically, has forced the world to take a knee mm, mm, mm. and take a pause. And now you're in your relationship. Like the blessing or the opportunity, should I say, is that you've actually got a chance to reconnect with them you've got a chance to get to know them mm. we don't often get that pe that that chance because the world is moving at such a pace yeah i mean 100 percent. i hear you i hear you now this this is the thing right now that you get a chance to know your partner to to to, to explore them yeah it's like okay you have to face the truth now the truth might be oh i love what i see i love who i didn't get a chance to get to know before or the truth might be holy shit I've, 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 I've gotten into something with someone that I don't really know and to someone that I don't really want to know because I didn't know these things about them. I didn't know that, you know, at two o'clock they like to fart. 
I didn't know at like <laughs> at three <laughs> at three thirty they like they like to they like to sniff the fingers after they scratch the feet. I didn't know these kind of things about my partner. Now I'm forced to know this shit. I'm realizing I live with a bum. And I hate my partner. So it's like a catch twenty two thing. It is a catch twenty two situation, and and, and it's it's forcing to bleed. To, like I get I get the sense that because we are so preoccupied with making life instant, yeah, we fail to realize that there are some things that just take time. And relationships, relations. Let's let's take it like not relationships. Let's take the word relations. Relations between two people or however many people, they take time because relations are nothing other than a storyboard of stories. They're shared experiences, things that we've done together and we all laugh and we all cry. Whatever it is, we shared this experience and that bonded us. Mm. That's what a relationship is. So if you find yourself in a situation where you have fast-tracked your relationship and got to a point where you're living together, sleeping together, doing this old bits and pieces, and then all of a sudden now look that lockdowns force you to look someone in the eye and go, you're not really what I wanted. You're, you're faced with a decision right now. Mm. Do you work on it and, and, and really truly explore that person mm. and be vulnerable with them? Or do you find a way to make an educated spirit? And, and I've got people that are on various different calls with me that are doing a variation of all everything in between. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because if, 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 if it comes to the thing that you have to make a decision, well, in a normal in the normal world, it's like let's say quarantine ends tomorrow. You realize you don't like your partner, <laughs> you can escape. You take option A. <laughs> option B. In this world whereby we're stuck with them, what's happening? Are you gonna kill your partner or kill yourself? <laughs> no, because nothing the thing is in a relationship circle, nothing should happen overnight. Nothing should. You shouldn't fall in love overnight and you shouldn't fall out of love overnight. Yeah. You know, your relationship hasn't changed. It just your relationship hasn't ended. It's changed. Mm. Mm. You, know? you can't just disrespect, start disrespecting someone just because you're not with them anymore. No, I hear that. I hear that. But no. then, this is the thing. Like I said, if we're in quarantine, it's, I feel it's totally, it's totally different. It's like, okay, I really, really hate you. Now, usually I'll be able to go out. Where did the hate come from? Now, that's that's a leap. That's a quantum leap. Hate from quantum leap. I'm in love. <laughs> To hate, like hate is hate your neighbor. Hate's way down the line, like yeah, you know. No, but what if this is the thing, right? Because you you fall in love. Okay, let's say you you, you spoke about the term um, everything being fast paced, right? Uh, yeah. People are leaping to things really quickly because we're in digital, right? It's the tech age. So mm -hmm. let's say you, you did skip a few steps. You did skip the getting to know someone phase, and then you've ended up living with this person, and then. The things you find out are really the things you hate <laughs> about people. It, it becomes an extreme because there's a huge there's a huge chance here that your partner says or reveals something that you totally detest, and you never even fathom the idea of being with someone that has these attributes. So you hate it. Do you deal? Do you run away and risk your life in the in the midst of Corona just to escape them, <laughs> or or do you do you like what do you do? If you're stuck in the house with someone, what you do you have doing? to You have to see it for what it is, not worse than it is. Mm. At the end of the day, even if you if you fast track something, there was still enough about them to make you like them enough to get yourself into a situation where you share a household with them. Yeah, facts, facts, huh? facts, facts. But you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, you've got to go right. Well, okay. This is this is what it is, mm -hmm. and see the in particular in particular part of it, and then you have a decision to make between the two of you. Yes, obviously you got to go right. Well, is this something I can do long term? You know, I've got a couple. I've got a couple that right now that, that have decided that this isn't. But mm -hmm. in that decision, this this isn't. You've got to both be adult about it. It's not just about going. Let's explode this thing so we can move on as fast as possible. Yeah. Let's respect this thing. So that we can actually, so that we can actually evolve our lives past it, and we both learn from it what we need to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I hear that, and I feel like a lot of people are like that's the ideal world, right? That's ideal, bro. But with guys, especially, well, I can only speak for guys' perspective. Like we get frustrated rather quickly, and I think this is another thing about quarantine. Everything intensifies. Of course, it does. Everything intensifies. So something that you probably give yourself logically a week and a half a month to to get over the, 
me from my previous relationships, I could get over things because I had the opportunity to leave the house, take a breather, come back and assess the situation. Okay. In this current context, my opportunity to leave the house, get a breather, it's not there. Like, as it gets stricter, let's say quarantine becomes a full lockdown, right? Yeah. It becomes a case of, okay, what do I do? Do I go to the bathroom? Do I breathe in the bathroom? Do I, do I go to the kitchen and put my head in the cupboard? and sniff all the, 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 the spices, <laughs> and that's my breather. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come back out. Like, it's you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to do the ugly bit and talk. Mm. You're gonna have to do the ugly bit and talk. It's like, the, the, when people run away, like, it's not even run away, when people take the, the, ch the opportunity for going for space, if you can, then great. Mm. But let's face it, in this, this, this day and age, where we are now, let's say for argument's sake, we fast forward it to a week because that's how long I think it's going to take for us to get to a point where we're in total lockdown. Mm. You can't. So you've got to deal with the cards that you're dealt you've, that you've got in front of you and create some space. The same way I'm saying to people to create some magic, you've got yeah. to create some space. And that yeah. means designated maybe the bedroom's mine and the front room's yours for certain periods of time. So I, for Karen and I, and we're talking about rotary in the house because I've got work to do, she's got work to do, but yeah. we've, also got, we've also got the baby to deal with. So one of us has got to be with him because he's only a year and a half. So one of us has got to be in room, room with him at all, at all times and entertaining him. Yeah. So therefore, when I take my two hours downstairs with him, she goes upstairs to take her two hours to work and then we rotate. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how our, our, our house is working at the moment. And then we've got our own time yeah. We've gone right. Well, we don't work at that period of time, so this is the both of us downstairs. Yeah. You've got to deal with the cards that you're dealt with. At the I moment, we are all forced. We are about to be forced. Someone said. Was, someone. Someone said. Like talking straight away. Maz said this. He said talking straight away is not always effective. Sometimes space is needed. And then Ula la <laughs> said. Then and then they see the partner in a locked room on house party on the app. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is that the, the situations vary. Obviously, if we've got if we've got high emotions, then taking time out to actually just alleviate that and allow people to calm down to actually talk. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But then you've got to you've got to deal with what you've got to deal with. So if that means it's in your house, then it's the yeah. same thing that I promote to everybody when it comes to them actually doing the point of where we're leaving together. Yeah. Yeah. We so, are leaving together. So you need you need to give each other the respect of space. That yeah. might be in a normal circumstances without the lockdown, people in separate houses. Yeah. If they're forced to be in the same house, respect the person's time when they're upstairs to lead them to their own devices while they're upstairs. You take yours downstairs. If it's an apartment, if it's an apartment situation, one in the front room, one in the bedroom, whatever it is it may be, and create that space. It's not the it's not the ideal scenario, but this isn't the ideal world right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matt said, in, in, like I said earlier, like in some situations, some partners, or well, in a lot of situations, some partners are um, irrational. So yeah. it becomes a case of, again, speaking sensible doesn't doesn't work. So what would you advise someone that is potentially in that situation where you have a partner that's irrational? And I guess maybe on the girl's side, potentially very hormonal, on the male side, very hormonal, testosterone is rising, and they're not thinking sensibly. Like, how would you advise someone to deal with that kind of thing? You've got, you've got to move the goalpost earlier. So it ha there has to be a rule. It has to be a conversation. Now, obviously, there's going to be a gray area here with, with relationships that fall into enough emotional, t emotional turmoil for... It, it has a pretend, pretend, potential to become physical. Mm, yeah, yeah, for real. Like, because, I, I, sorry if, to cut you if, short there. Um, if any, I, yeah. I, did, I did see something online about, everyone's talking about isolation, isolation. What about people that are in abusive relationships? How do you expect people like that to stick in that? You get me? And you, so you, you're kind of on that line right now. You And this is where you have to take advantage of the country that we're in. We're not in full lockdown yet. Mm. And that means you taking you taking if you know that your other half has and this goes for both the guys and the girls, whatever the circumstances or whatever your configuration your relationship is, you need to take the educational part here and to go and and go and, and the foresight and to go right. Well, what is this? If your partner has shown signs of being that irrational to the point where they might become physical, don't allow yourself to be in full lockdown with them. 
And if that means you take the L and go live with a friend or what have you, whatever it is, it may be, find some way to yeah. vacate that situation and secure yourself in lockdown somewhere else. Yeah, because yeah. it, does, it doesn't make sense. Like you said, we are fortunate to be in in, in, in a situation. I mean, it's a catch-22. Some people are arguing that we should have locked down earlier. It should be more strict. But for those that, yeah. you know, are not in that situation yet, which is the UK, and if you're in an abusive relationship, do take the opportunity to, to leave, right? Do take the opportunity yeah. Yeah. that you still have right now, the advantage that we're not on complete lockdown to find another space. Because, again, this might just bring everything to the front, to the forefront, right? If, if you knew your partner was before and it was like an escape for you to leave or escape for you to go to work, now you don't have that escape. It's like all the stuff that you should have taken before and you did it, now you know I better do this or my life is on the line. So... Yeah, I make this as a, a, a complete and utter pledge to anyone listening to this, listening back over it, whatever time it may be, because this podcast will make it eternal, that if you're in a situation or a relationship where the person has been abusive to you in the past, is being abusive to you right now, or you think there's a the potential of them being abusive to you in the future, do not allow yourself to be locked down in a situation where you cannot move from them now take the heat take the opportunity to leave yeah you know? take the opportunity to leave to those of you that aren't necessarily in that situation where it's that volatile right now then you've got to you've also got to play the the, the forefront game someone has got to play the leader in this and and, and in this game of chess and go right let's play this a couple moves ahead mm. and if it looks like the potential is that in a couple moves ahead, if I'm locked down in a situation, and you said this quite rightly, but that a lockdown intensifies everything. Mm. It makes it that much, everything is that much more poignant, sore, mm. potential, like important, everything, mm. when you're in a lockdown situation, because now you're forced to just look at each other. There's no escape, yeah. Exactly. If, you're in, if you look that two moves ahead, mm. and you think that that relationship might turn into something that you would, really not want to be locked inside of my wow. advice to you is to find an alternative whilst you still can before we have tanks rolling up and down the street and tell you to stay in your house yeah yeah and so i mean that, that's what people that are living together right and i guess we've seen we've looked at more on the negative side of things obviously there's a positive side of things as well yeah. right so what would the positives of you know this isolation situation be if i'm with my partner and i'm living with them <laughs> and i'm forced to be with them like i feel like there was a cash there was a sorry, the word double x sword there that 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 there that forced word take that out mm, because we're not there yet it's not even there because yeah. if you're if you're in a position where we get locked down completely and you're in your house don't forget, you're in your house with the person that you chose to do life with. Mm. Let's not get that confused. At when all. you say do life, it sounds like a prison sentence. I'm not going to lie. No, no, no. Well, you, that's, that depends on your perspective. Okay. When I say do life, I mean do adventures, do challenges, do Live life, yeah. Pushing people, do uh, like creating stuff, do advancing, do kids, do yeah. whatever it comes next. Yeah. That's do life to me. Yeah, and that's that's a huge opportunity you get now, right? So the the concept of uh, oh, babe, I need to go to work, I don't have time, or oh, babe, I'm too tired, that flies out the Still window right now, and you get to do those things that, exactly. well, some of those things that you always wanted to do, right? And you get to even be a, a lot more creative and innovative and imaginative in terms of what you can do now. Absolutely. Mm. You know, people, yeah, when you first when you first get your lockdown bits. And I go from my own house as a, as, a, as a point of reference. You know, the first thing you do is, is you run through Netflix. We'll mm. do movies together. And then you then you run through Disney Plus or whatever it, channel it is. Let's watch nostalgic movies together. Mm. And then you'll start getting to the real stuff. Like, let's make dinner together. Let's play cards. Let's play chess. Let's work on your presentation, my presentation. Let's work out what we're going to do next. Like, what we do after this that this lockdown has ended and that's real opportunity that is coming our way aside from all of this negativity that the government likes to throw in our faces yeah I think you've, got that, you've got an opportunity to plan you've got an opportunity to go right well what happens next yeah I think, I think i think that's definitely an interesting perspective like um you mentioned the negativity that the government's throwing in our faces this 
this thing gives you an opportunity to create your own positive outlook on things, Absolutely. right? Because a lot of us are just stuck with what the news has given us, and it's not positive at all. Versus, and that's when, when you're by yourself, it's even harder, right? That isolation, and when you have no one to, to bounce ideas or bounce thoughts and theories off, right? When you're by yourself, you actually get, all you have is the news telling you stuff, and your head. And obviously, the devil makes work for idle thumbs. You start to go a little bit, whatever. It's, you start getting negative mentality. But when you're actually with a partner, it allows you guys to feed each other positivity, isn't it? If that's the case. Yeah. Well, it allows it, right? It gives, it gives the opportunity, too. And it gives I, you the, the hope as well, potentially. I think you've touched on the one subject that isn't universal to being in a couple. Mm. In the sense of the government is throwing and the news is throwing, as the news always does. The media always throws everything that's negative in front of your face and i think you as an individual and i always put promote this to, to, to couples especially that this is not a case of the spice girls where two become one when you come into a relationship it's two individuals living one life mm. you're sharing two you're sharing one timeline but it's two individuals mm. so what do you want this is your opportunity to sit your partner down and go this is what i want to do mm. when this lockdown's end ends and the flights recommence, and I can get baby powder from the corner shop again, mm. and I can move. For this is what I want to do. Mm. Now tell me what you want to do. Mm. Then decide what do we want to do. Mm. This is your opportunity as a couple to sit down and go, right, well, what's our, what's our next 12 weeks look like mm. when this lockdown ends? Mm. And it's individual as much as it is together. Mm. Because, like, you're two individuals. This isn't two people intertwining to the point where everybody loses like, their own the identity and we just become this one yeah. collaborative individual. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. I what think, do you want? Yeah, that's a really good point, man. Like, because there's always, especially when you're younger, there's a fantasy of getting into a relationship means to become one. It means we all think yeah. the same, we all behave the same, we all, we all want the same things, but it's not. And I think just because it's not doesn't mean that's a bad thing, right? What you're saying in this case is that this gives you that um, opportunity to self-isolate your mind, if anything, and allow you to think for yourself what you actually want, and then compare it with your partners, and for you guys to actually, you know, what yeah. I mean, find a nice go between, and um, plan life. That's that's a really good perspective. One thing that someone said um, is, um, "What about people that are not living together?" You feel me? So we've spoken about partners, couples that live together but might not like it, couples yeah. that live together but enjoy it and the opportunities and advantages of that um and then there's couples that are together but don't have the 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 um the closeness you feel what i'm saying they don't have the proximity what, like different things going through different people's minds like i have a friend whose girlfriend is in germany at the moment she was here initially but she had to fly out because her family is in germany so now yeah. it's like they're in a situation whereby every day he starts getting more and more lonely she starts yeah. to get more and more frustrated. And then she has a family situation as well, whereby she's thinking about her family and her parents. And the idea of the relationship comes last, naturally. You feel me? Like, what do you think of those kind of setups? So that last bit again, what bit gets lost? Um, the, the relationship, the concept of her and a partner, because um, her, her family, one of her family members is ill. He's contracted, has contracted the um, yep. virus. You feel me? So like she, now it's like that person's life is on the line. It's tethering. Are you thinking? Are they even thinking about the relationship versus the partner who's here? And what would happen if it was under normal circumstances? The safe argument says that one person caught cancer. What would happen then? I think the difference is that that person could be there physically. Okay, right. So, but we we have this this like I, I say this. I call I call my phone my phone now the seven billion souls unit mm -hmm. because that's that's how many people I can reach. You know. I've, I've, my, let's say, for, I've got four kids. One's with me, two are with their mum in one in, in Bromley, and then another one is with her mum in Downham. I speak to them all every day. Mm. It's not the same. I think you have to deal with the cards that, you, that you're with and not get caught up with the bits that you can't control. Mm. The fact of the matter is, we are facing this corona situation. Fact. The other fact of the matter is, that means that some people are going to be living away from their other halves. It's not within your control, which is also a fact. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. How, much you t how much you relate to that person and let them know how much they mean to you on a day-to-day -day basis is within your control. Yeah. How much time you take out to, to put effort in to make connection with that person 
is within your control. Yeah. Yeah. How much support you give to that person, even though they're 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 overseas, is still within your control. Mm -hmm. You can't physically be there, no. But the if you follow the media, the media will follow you and will make you dwell on the bits that are completely out of your control. Yeah. Because that's all they throw in your face. Yeah. But what about what you can? Like you can call the people that you love right now on your phone, mm. on a video call, and them see your face and have a, a, a in in interaction. You could log on to face party or house party or zoom media whatever kind of conference call you want to set up where you've got five six hundred five hundred people logged on at the same time mm. and everybody have a drink simultaneously i heard someone someone said mentioned to me the other day they had a chess game of chess mm. with someone over in the states mm. online yeah 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 yeah. i and hear you so not what you're saying is like um if someone's in a situation whereby they feel isolated or separated from the partner um, the same way technology could be seen as negative, it's, it's a huge opportunity to see the positive stuff whereby there's connectivity in some way, shape, or form. And I know, like, people always used to say these, like, there used to be all these things on these relationship memes, um, on these narcissist memes about guys, and they'd be like, um, you can tell how much a guy cares about you, but how much effort he makes when, if he texts you, if he calls you, blah, 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 blah. That becomes <laughs> factual now more so than ever. Yeah. When you're not with someone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so what you're saying it's... makes a lot of sense, right? Um, he can still, or they can still stay in contact, and the amount of effort that they make to do that shows how much, you know, they, they're trying to keep that relationship alive after the fact. Look, at the end of the day, when it comes to, when it comes to relationships, effort is its currency. Yeah. Effort. You know, when we're in a normal scale of things where we can go out, we, we you take a look at it when you go for a first date. How much effort do you put into that? You make sure you go to the barbers, you make sure your hair, is, your hair is cut, buy a new outfit, make sure your shoes are clean, sorted out and what have you. Pick the right restaurant or the right place. You've got the whole thing set up and what have you. Mm -hmm. Like, it's effort. And, that, and effort is, tran is transparent. It, mm -hmm. it, it's not connected to the fact of us being able to physically do what have mm -hmm. you. It could be connected in whichever rate, what way or form it comes down to. So if we are separated by a continent and by the fact that we've got this coronavirus, it means we can't go out. That's cool, but I can still set up a virtual date and put as much effort in as I can do mm. in order to make that connection. Because that's what we're after, really. So that, that connection with the other people. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. So as much as you care about someone, as much as effort you put into them. But yeah. this is the thing. Like, What about people that are in, I guess, the, the infancy or the beginning stages of those relationships, right? Yeah. Um, with someone that's a bit long-term, you know, you, you, you've established what that effort means. It's established, oh, babe, let's do a date time. Let's do a whatever, right? I feel like, again, when, you're, when the relationship is new, this thing is so imbalanced, right? This thing is it's on the edge. It's on the cusp of we can make it or we can't make it. And wh what... Like, some people are not so digitally inclined, right? Some people are not so good at communicating themselves on the phone. Like, I know a lot of people have said, I hate phone calls. I know a lot of people have said, I hate video calls. I hate all this stuff. And, but in real life, they're amazing people. They're amazing communicators. So that's where they shine. And that's what the guy or the girl was into when they met that person. Now, they don't have that. And I feel like that relationship or that potential relationship just gets broken and just crumbles. You get what I'm saying? It does if you let it. Mm. This is where the person that's not te te technologically minded mm. has to learn a new chord. Mm. You know that you know you 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 unfortunately in the situation that we're in right now, mm. you can't just sit back and go right. Well, I, I I could fall in love, but because I don't like typing on the phone, I won't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's how ridiculous it sounds. Yeah. You know? You've, you've got to now go, right, well, this is the time that I'm in. Let's say for argument's sake, we've all watched all these Mad Max movies that are going on, going on left, right, and center over the course yeah. of the year. You know? Some apocalyptic event happens whereby life forever changes. Yeah. You can't call yourself extinct. You can't volunteer yourself to be extinct yeah. because that eventuality happened. Yeah. Yeah. You've now got to go, okay, this is where I'm at. How do I deal with it? This isn't something that's happened in your control. It's not your choice, mm. you know? It's not your choice. But now you've got to find your choice within the choices that are available. Mm. So if you don't like texting, voice note. Mm. 
if you don't like 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 phone calling, then record a video and send it to them afterwards. You've got to now go, okay, how do I evolve as an individual in order to become what I want to be? Yeah, yeah. I think Multi Art Life just said, make an effort and pass your comfort zones. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I hear that, I hear that. There's this thing, I, and I sent this to you earlier. There was a, a, <laughs> a, a meme or a screenshot or something, a message on Twitter. They said, on the bright side, the only guys getting laid right now are the ones who have the good sense to man up and commit. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. The, so that, that infers the only people benefiting in this situation are the ones who decide to solidify their relationships. You see? That, the, the premise of this being, we're in an age where everyone's talking about, I want to live my best life. I want to be yeah. single. I want to enjoy my time by myself. And yeah. it's at different stages because some people could have just broken up and be like, I want to enjoy my time by myself, which for the most part, like, yeah, that could be fair. And then some people are like, nah, I'm only going to um, settle down after I've had this amount of sex or after I've, I've, I've achieved this much in my life or after, yeah. you know? So now it's like, are they regretting that? That's, that's, a, that's a very personal understanding yeah. to come to. You know, a very personal understanding to come to. I mean, I, I always fall back to the sense of, like, mammals, no matter what context you, you decree at them at, were never designed to be alone. Mm. The one, it's the one, Rick, though, there are two currencies in life that you will never delete, and that one of them is death, mm. and the other one's love. Mm. Because people will always seek connection. They'll always want, you know, whether they want to admit it, or, they, and, you know, or they 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 caught up in the whole distraction. I use I use social media as a, as a as a distraction when it comes to dating because you've created people with so many options whereby actually choosing an option now is is not reasonable. Yeah, too much. Choice. So, so we're frightened of missing out. That a FOMO situation is so live right now. People are too busy swiping left to realize whether or not they should be swiping right. You know, so it's 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 that situa situation right now. And what we're placed with is everybody needs someone. And right now, the, the, the single guys and the single guys out there, I mean, the girls out there, I've, I've had a few of them on, on my messages and what have you, and we've been talking things out. You know, it's not a matter of regret, because I don't think anyone should live with regret. You make your choices based on the scenario that you're in, but this is showing you an, a, a possible that you really need to ad adhere to. Everyone believes that, that living my best life that that scenario there well are you really mm. or are you leaving the life that the media told you you should do mm, mm, mm. You know, i remember when i was sing single i was never happy when i was really single mm. i enjoyed being a bit the guy that walked into the club and doing the bounce along and this that and the other but was i really ultimately <laughs> not really yeah not really it's ego flattering for a moment you know? it's ego flattering for a moment but after that Mm. Not really. Not really. Yeah, it's, it's interesting what you said, and I think that's a good quotable. You said the two main currencies of life are what was it, love and. So yeah. You, you said those two key currencies in life, right? Yeah, love and death. Love and death. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, the, another thing is that now the people are like, um, in this space where, let's say you you wanted to commit. But then now you can't do it because, or you find it difficult to commit and whatever, because of isolation. Then you have this door, this, 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 this open door, this damn theory, right? Whereby it's like the floodgate theory. <laughs> People can't get through the floodgates right now. They, they have to deal with being alone, right? Yeah. And then when the floodgates get lifted, a AKA the quarantine passes and um, Corona fleas or i mean god god willing right everyone just rushes into shit i need to commit now just in case panic mode you feel what i'm saying the same way with the toilet paper thing People do that <laughs> relationships are you with me yeah, yeah 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 and then a bunch of people it reverses a bunch of people that wanted to be single for so long they like oh shit i need to get with someone now in case apocalypse hips um happens tomorrow and then a whole a flood of relationships start happening. There might not be healthy relationships, but people are, again, I'd rather be with someone than be by myself. 
Yeah, but they missed the opportunity to learn. Because mm. that's what it really is. Everyone's been forced to take a knee, and it's an opportunity to learn. To humble themselves, like, yeah? Okay. Not, not necessarily about... Everyone gets fixated with this whole, I want to be in a relationship. But who's getting into the relationship? Mm. What you need to do is take a minute to take a look to go, well, who am I? Mm. What do I like? Like, what am I about? Mm. Like, mm. who am I? Take this opportunity to go, right, well, answer those questions, and then the right person will step along. Let's not rush into going, right, well, let's cuff or grab hold of wh whoever it is that's available. Yeah. Nah, let's get a chance to go, right, well, who are we? Yeah. Understand who I am in order that I can put the right advert out to get the right person. 100%. 100%. Do you, uh, but do you remember that song um, on the Pina Colada song? He said she loves Pina Colada. <laughs> Do you know that song, Andrew? I've heard it. I don't know it word for word, but I've heard it. Okay, cool. So the premise of that song is this guy's been living with his wife for, for years, 20 years plus. They, they're from, this, the, I think, the 80s or the 70s. Live with his wife for years. And then the reason I'm thinking about this because you mentioned put your ad out, like advertise yourself the right way, right? Yeah. So he's been living with his partner for years. And then he's frustrated. He's bored. And then he puts it back in the day, they used to put ads out, singles ads. So he puts an ad out in a newspaper, in the article. He tells the, the ladies, um, hey guys, you know, I love pina coladas. I love chilling on the beach. I love music, la, 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 la. And then, so he, he's trying to cheat on his wife, right? But back then it's through an ad. And then um, he sees an ad for someone else. The girl says, hey, I love pina coladas. I love chilling on the beach. I love moonlight and candlelight dinners. And then that's basically their Tinder back in the day, right? So yeah. He creeps on the side. He goes to meet this woman in a bar. He waits for her. He turns around. Who shows up? His wife. Yeah. It turns out she loves pina coladas. She loves yeah. chilling on the beach. She loves moonlit dinners. She loves all that stuff. And then the song just becomes this whole thing. I did not know because I didn't get to know myself. I didn't get to know you. You feel me? And I think this yeah. whole isolation thing, like you said, it's a key um, period in life whereby we get to self-reflect. You get to look in the mirror. Who's Andrew? Who's Hank? Who's yeah. Hank? And then who can I be for someone that comes eventually? Not just who can I be for them, but then when they come to me and they ask me, what do I want? Who am I? I have, I have my list of requirements. I have a list of this is why I like this, who I am. Yeah. I'm willing to adapt it. But just so you know, I know who I am. Do you know who you are? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I think, but a lot of people are afraid to self-reflect, bro. That's why a lot of people are going a little bit nuts right now. A lot of people don't have that comfort of self to be able to sit down at home and just be, really face, you know, who they are. Most, most people aren't happy being who they are because they don't know. Mm. They spent so much time, I, 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 I used to set the, the circumstance of going, the name of going right while, Night in white, white knight in shining armor syndrome. Mm. Everyone's in that bit. Everyone's so preoccupied when they go into a relationship of being better than the person that was there before, mm. fixing all the things that, that the person has told them that upset them about the person before. Mm. That they forgot to read. They forgot to introduce themselves. Mm. Mm. Uh, they forgot to say, right, well, this is who I am. This is what I like. Mm -hmm. you know, you're supposed to be listening, not reacting. Mm -hmm. Listen, absorb. Yes, there's information in there that you that you need to take care, heed of. You know, if person tells you, if someone tells you, you know what, I don't like someone that's overly aggressive, then there are some things that you need to question about yourself. Mm -hmm. But that me, in order to uh, deal with those questions about yourself, you need to face yourself mm -hmm. and go. Well, well, this is something that I want to change. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things that I've, I've, I've come across for myself and other people that I've, I've coached in relationships is going, right, well, the change can't be for the other person. It has to be for you. The change needs to be for you. Yeah. And in order for you to understand the change for you, then you need to see it yeah. for you. Yeah. Not provoked because of X, Y, and Z. And this situation that we're putting here, this quarantine situation here, it's an opportunity for couples to get to know themselves yeah. then get to know us. Yeah, it's a it's an opportunity for people that are single mm. to get to know themselves, mm. 
so that when the ban is lifted and we can all go flooding back into those bars and clubs and all the rest of it and, 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 and start doing this, this, this dance of, I don't want to be single anymore. Mm. It's an opportunity to really introduce you. Mm. 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 And that's the blessing in disguise in this whole Corona mess that's mm. hit the world. Mm. It's an opportunity where everybody has had to take a, take a moment and stop. Yeah. In that moment, let's take off the masks, let's take off the capes, let's take off the fake superhero outfits and let's just introduce Clark rather than Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The real let kid. him step forward and go, actually, you know what? I don't like eggs. Yeah. Or I don't like the colour green. Yeah. Whatever is it, whatever whatever it is, whatever that is. Or even admitting, you know what, I like it when people do X. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. And be able to vocalize that comfortably. Facts, facts. Okay, that's that's interesting. I think that's really good advice, man. I think that's really good advice. So essentially what we're saying is get to know yourself during this period. Get to know your partner during this period. Get to know what you like. Get to know what you want. Get to know what you don't like. Um, yeah. And I think one key thing is what we keep coming back to it is the negativity of the media, right? And I think one thing we need to push is promoting more positivity right people promoting more more positive thinking like looking at looking at the end of the rainbow and seeing some light there you feel me yeah because because the floodgates like people are getting flooded with all these these dark ideas the concept of, of death the concept of like pain panic and all that stuff and it's like yeah you know what that is happening but there's also a lot of good as well bro the thing is that the, the, all of the things that people are scared of are always there mm. Mm. No, no fear of death. There's, there's magnifying be... glass in it. Huh? Now there's just more of a magnifying glass. But that's only because the media has decided to put the magnifying glass on it, mm. and that's all they're flooding into our onto our TV screens, our radios, our whatever it is. Everyone's talking about Corona, 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 Corona. Yeah. And we're not talking about the other things that were still worrying the world beforehand. And I put a post out about it this morning because it, it, it really got to me in the sense of everyone seems to have forgot, forgotten about the amount of mental health issues that are going on in the world, but they're still there. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, there are still people falling in love. There are still great things happening around the world. There are still amazing things and, 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 pla and plateaus being, being broken around the world. Yeah. It's just that everybody's, the media has focused our eyes solely on the negative in terms of the, the, the coronavirus. Mm. But what I'd urge people to do is take a look at your own world, your own your own world, your own scope, your own whatever label, label you want to put on it, and go, right, well, what positivity do I want to introduce to my world tomorrow? Yeah. Right. How do I want to make myself smile tomorrow? And the thing is, if enough individuals do that, then the mm. world smiles that much brighter. You know, mm. even if it's just if you're walking at your house, because as I said, the UK, fortunately, we're not on complete lockdown. So you can go out for your, your, your exercise a day. Well, take that and take a walk around instead of frowning and smile. Yeah. yeah. Listen okay. to your favorite track. Well, I, 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 I've got Disney Plus, I'll admit that live. Yeah, I've got Disney Plus. And I've taken the liberties of going through every Marvel movie there is in order and sequence that have been put out. Yeah. It puts so much delight into my world just to be able to watch that. Because I'm watching that with my son. Karen's sort of blinking and falling asleep. But, you know, the boy's sitting there and he's understanding, yeah, his middle name's Thor. And that, that's why it is, because you can see yeah. it on the screen. So yeah. it's just taking those moments. And I think that's what the world university needs to do, is to go, right, well, today I'm doing this. And I'm doing this because it makes me smile. That's dope. Um, um, Peak Physique said, would you say now it's a perfect time for online dating apps or worse times for them? Depends on your perspective. I think yeah, yeah, I think now's the, per the the perfect time to get to know someone. So don't look at it as I'm dating in the sense of we're dating t and leading towards this. I think you can approach dating apps and go right. Well, I'm getting to know this person, mm. and take the time now to go right. Well, who are you? Because mm. I think when we're well, when everybody's able to run around town and get horizontal whenever they feel like it we rush to that point mm. and we forget the time in between to go right well who are you yeah yeah who who who, who are you it's and now's the time on your dating app yeah because no one can run out the, outside their house to go right well actually 
let's get a chance to understand who you are and have some meaningful interactions. Yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting because what they, they in apps have become, I don't know if that's what the, the basis was for, they've become a fast track way of getting to know people, fast track way of getting to people's pants, fast track way, just yeah. full fast. It's like digital fast roundtable dating, right? It's like, yeah. um, what do you call those, those, um, those dating games with, with, when people speed dating? It's like speed dating kind of thing. Yeah. You know, it's become that. And I feel like, like I said to you earlier, the question I asked you was, what about people that don't know how to communicate, right? <laughs> what about people that don't know how to communicate on text and stuff like that? I feel like dating apps will not benefit a lot of those people because one thing that you cry on dating apps, for girls to feel comfortable to give numbers for the most part, they, like, you do need to get to know them a, a bit better. You do need mm -hmm. to, they do need to get to feel comfortable. And I feel like if guys don't have those communicative um, skills, then dating apps will be hell for them. You get what I'm saying? Because it can't go anywhere. It can't just be swipe, swipe, let's meet tomorrow. It's like swipe, swipe. Yeah, let's meet tomorrow is not enough. I need more. Because people want more conversation. They need it now, right? Yeah, but I think, I think the opposite. I think that the, the, the guys that have got no substance are the ones that are getting the fast track, the point where swipe, swipe, and then we're here. Mm. I think those ones are the ones that are actually going to fall apart. And the guys that are actually, the real guys will get a chance to step forward. No, no, because... Yeah, 100%. We're saying the same thing. Yes, 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 yes. Essentially, that's literally what I'm saying. The guys that don't, that don't know how to communicate, they're going to suffer. The ones that you know and do have the patience, whatever, they will thrive. You feel me? Yeah. I, but 100%, there will be losers and there will be winners in the situation. Um, Matt said, but we are in such an age now of digital. People do communicate when they want or need to. Agreed? Yeah, agreed. I mean, essentially, I, I tried to make a quick little list of um, relationship tips and stuff for you guys in terms of coping. And this is kind of off the conversation we just had, right? So for people in relationships today, um, in case you just jumped into this conversation with mine, Andrew, I don't want to go for too long because... Um, I know after an hour it's cut off. Andrew, can you tell me how long it's been? Can you see on your on your thing? I can't. No. Okay, it's I've, just seen, I've just seen my thing cut up on recording any other bit. It cut it cut off after a bit. That that said. Okay, fine. So um, that's a few two minutes. Okay, fine. So guys, quick um, highlights from this conversation in case you just popped in or in case you're gonna watch this over. I'm gonna leave this up for 24 hours. So Andrew Andrew Grossell on that side, relationship coach relationship advisor and I call him a relationship guru and life coach as well. And um, myself, Hendrix being Hendrix, no silicone podcast. Relationships during quarantine. Make time for a long time. Get some alone time for yourself. Create a schedule. Yeah you know I mean try and figure out what works for you and your partner, right? Someone picks something up here, you pick something up there. Right? Get some fresh air. We're in quarantine but we're not in total lockdown. So step outside, get some fresh air, come back in, right? Stay in touch with the outside world. Make contact with your friends. Make contact with your family. Don't be so isolated within yourself because we have technology. We have digital awareness now. So use it, right? Learn how to communicate better. Speak to your friends. Speak to your family. Speak to your lovers. Figure out the skills that you didn't really have before isolation that isolation is kind of forcing you to bring out. Learn how to communicate better. It will benefit you today. It will benefit you tomorrow. It will benefit your relationship and it will benefit you for the future. All right? Um, use the time to your advantage. Do more things. Be more creative. All right? Much love, people. Andrew Grosset, I really appreciate your time, my guy. Appreciate you, too. Yeah? Guys, follow Andrew Grosset. Um, follow No Silicon Podcast. Subscribe to both our YouTube pages. Absolutely. And after, you know, the quarantine period is done, God willing, we'll be doing this on the face-to-face -face basis. What's it called? No Silicon? No Silicon. No Silicon. No silicon. No silicon.